everybody. We're back with the star of The Comey Rule on Showtime starting this Sunday, Jeff Daniels. Brendan Gleeson plays Trump. Could, do you think you could play Trump? Is that an appealing role? There was a 15 minute period. Uh, yes. I, I'm, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I played Frank Griffin in Godless, who, you know, just, I mean, I'll, I'll do anything. And that's the joy of it. That's the fun of acting is that, is that you can, yeah, yeah, I'll play him. I mean, that we, we did a, in the cast of Comey Rule, we were going, who would play Trump? Oh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. I would. I, I want to get in that head. I want to get in there, you know, look around, see you, if I see anything. You, yeah. it's, a dark, it's dark and dirty, man. You definitely want to wear a mask, COVID or none. It is a little dark in there. Now, no, but you often play. You, period where we were having trouble casting Trump. Brendan passed the first time, then thankfully he came back. And I, I was going to do that Patty Duke thing. Remember that way back when? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do both roles. And my wife said, think of all the lines you'll have to learn. I said, you're right. Forget it. There you go. There you go. Um, now, you, you often play people who are perceived heroically or maybe even are, are, uh, are, or, are heroes or perceive themselves as heroes. Uh, Comey, Atticus Finch, John O'Neill from Looming Tower, Will McAvoy. Do you, do you seek those roles out? Or do people just write those and go, that's Jeff Daniels. That's a Jeff Daniels role. I'm getting a lot of that. that and a, I think Newsroom, newsroom did, the, the latter. That, uh, the, yeah, okay. Jeff Daniels can do this because you know why? He did Newsroom. Mm -hmm. Newsroom bought me 10 years, easily. And, and the, the subsequent roles have kind of enforced it. And now I'm like in the, you know, third act of my career, I'm working more than ever. So it's, it's, it's I'm grateful and appreciative, but I, I think it all stems from uh, that Northwestern speech in newsroom. How, how, do you, uh, how do you feel about your friend Jim Carrey playing Joe Biden on SNL? That's, that's who they're bringing in. Do you? I texted him and I said, go easy, man. We need him. Come on, you know. That sounds like Jim Carrey. Well, Going easy. I, 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 I want to see what he's going to do. You got to figure he's going to go with the aviator glasses and the teeth. And the half smile. Got to go. The half smile. Jim will have the, Yeah, he's, that. Excited. he's excited to do it. Yeah. Now, I know you narrated his book. You, you did the audio book of his book. Uh, uh, tell me the difference between getting into Jim Carrey's head versus Jim Comey's head. Is there any crossover there? Which one's harder? <laughs> no. Uh, no, um, no. Um, Comey, uh, Jim, Jim, it, it, once you figure, it's pretty right there. It is, you know, mm -hmm. rule of law, North Star. Jim yep. Carrey is 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 an acid trip into the creative genius of of Jim's mind, and uh, it's a wild ride. The book is. I'm reading the audio book. It took me three days. Um, it was it was like Hunter S. Thompson meets. Alice in, in Wonderland, only it's Jim. And it was exhausting. It was, I was just, I felt like I was back on Dumb and Dumber. It was so great because you want to go, you want to ride that comic tornado, you know? And so here I go again, Dumb and Dumber 3, boom, off we go. I loved it. I loved doing it. It's a great book. It, it really is. Um, well, please stay healthy out there. We, ne we need our Jeff Daniels. Um, we, we've lost some very good people. I know you you were a great fan of John Prine, as as we were. We 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 love that man. Uh, any thoughts on John Prine and what 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 a loss he was to um, to music, to our culture, just to humanity? What a, anyone who writes anything, songs, plays, movies, books, whatever, you want to write original, like an original line an original phrase. And, and John Prine was one of those people that did that. When he wrote song, only John Prine would write it that way. Mm -hmm. And that's what, you, in a world where everybody's heard and seen and read and written everything, when you can still do that like he could, that's gold. And that, that's what a true artist is. That's how I think of him. The Comey Rule premieres this Sunday on Showtime. Jeff Daniels, everybody. Jeff, thanks for being here. Thank you, Stephen. Great to see you. We'll be right back with a performance by Yusuf Cat Stevens. Yes, that one.